There's something wrong with the baby. Was that Emily on the phone? No, it was the hospital. I guess I'm listed as the father. Well, well, did they say what was wrong? No, they just said that I should get there right away. Okay, then you better go. Yeah. Come with me. Look, if there's something wrong with the baby, I'm the last person Emily wants by her bedside. Oh, no, stop. Look, I don't care about Emily. I'm just care about you. Sorry, I'm in your day. It's not your fault. I'm pretty sure this is just another one of Emily's tricks, but, you know, because it was the hospital that called, I should probably go down there. Yeah. So you should go. Go. Yeah? You'll be okay? I'll call you. I try to back away, I end up facing the same essential truth. I love Paul, and he loves me, but that doesn't mean I'm blind. I'm as worried about this situation with Emily as you are, which is why I told him I wouldn't marry him until the baby was born and he sorted things out. That is the smartest thing you have ever done. I'm very proud of you. Well, I'm not a masochist, Mama. I don't want to be in the middle of all this. The problem is, okay, he planned this picnic for us, and it was really sweet. It really, really was. I didn't say anything. Yeah, well, you don't have to. The point is, the hospital called. Emily had been admitted because of some problem with the baby, and, and Paul went rushing over there, and he asked me if I wanted to go with him, but I just didn't want to. Anyway, he's doing all the right things, and... And it still doesn't feel right, is that it? No, it doesn't. But, but I expected that. What I'm worried about is that I told him to be kind to Emily, you know? I, I mean, she is pregnant, and we are gonna have to deal with her once the baby's born. And she is the baby's mother. Yes, she is. She's also Emily. And I'm afraid that she's gonna use this kindness against us. Is everything all right with the baby? Dr. Schiller is running some tests. I'm going to go find her and see if any of the Ross are back here. Okay. How are you all done? I'm okay. How did you hear? Hospital called me. Because I, I didn't ask them to call you. I'm the father, Emily. I should be here. You're not going to lose this baby. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I know that. Emily, everything's going to be fine. Is Meg with you? She's very concerned. She said I should come right away. So she's not here? No. She thought it would be better if I just came by myself. Meg, we both know that Emily will do anything to get what she wants. It doesn't matter who she hurts. Oh, sweetheart. I, I, forgive me, but I really do wish that you could just stay away from both of them. That's what I wish. Do you really expect me to stay away from someone I love? Meg, you have loved a lot of people. It's time that somebody loved you back. But he does. No, not the way you deserve. Okay, Mama, look, I, I don't need a lecture right now. What I need is some advice. So how do I handle this? Well, Meg, the baby is not going to go away. If you want Paul, you're just going to have to accept that. And also the fact that Emily is here to stay. Okay, so then what? Well, if you really, really want this man and all his baggage, you just got to get in there, I guess, and fight for him, that's all. But listen... You better make sure it's what you really want. Because there is a child involved here. You hear? So, you had better listen to your heart before you commit to this. Otherwise, you're going to make a very bad situation worse. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. We got some good news. Everything's fine with the baby. 
Oh, that's right, Paul. I'm happy for you. 